A lot of the ideas that I've been uh, playing around with here to do with space, to do with light, uh, to do with movement, perception, um, substances, things like weight, these kinds of ideas. Um, seem to me to be articulations of a certain kind of physics. In fact, I've mentioned physics before. But it's not the physics of... Well, it kind of is a physics of real space. I, I, I think of it to myself as a kind of... I don't like the term metaphysics, because that has not good implications. Uh, so I tend to think of it as a kind of psychophysics, borrowing from Fechner, but in a slightly different way. The physics of the psyche, if you like. What, what would it mean to, for the physics to, for the psyche to have a physics? But even when I think of that, I have to think of a slightly different understanding of what psyche means. I'm certainly not talking about psyche in a kind of narrow 20th century way, or not only in that way. I think the way I'm kind of understanding psyche right now is as a um, well, I'm not even sure if I do understand, but it's a, it's a range of different um, possibilities from perhaps at one end a kind of behaviorist or uh, narrowly defined neurological interpretation of what psyche might mean, what mind might mean, uh, to at the other end of the spectrum, kind of panpsychist, almost pantheistic understanding of psyche one of which locates the psyche within perhaps uh, the neural correlates of consciousness or um, something like along those lines, I can't think of an equivalent enough, but some highly defined, narrow, centralizing uh, instantiation in the brain. So at the other extreme, an understanding of psyche as being, um, as I say, panpsychic to kind of understand kind of formulation out there in the world. Um, not, not, that's not a particularly popular idea scientifically, but if, to the extent that it exists as an idea, it's worth thinking about. Uh, and of course, in between that, all the variations in that, Velman's reflective monism, which I've spoken about, various Freudian and Jungian understandings of what psyche might mean. Um, Psychodynamic models of psyche, uh, yeah, and, and the rest really. Just all these are kind of formulations of what psyche might be, and all oh, interesting in my book. So when I'm talking about psyche, when I'm thinking about psyche, I'm not seeing it as one of those things. I'm seeing all of these as possible expressions of the term psyche that we can use for fun and profit. So the physics of that psyche, which might be uh, individually located, it might be transpersonally located, it might be developed out of subject-object relations, it might feature within um, more kind of staff understanding of how the world operates. Whatever those, whatever one's interpretation, the physics of that, there's a kind of physics of that. And that's the physics to do with um, the physics that we as human beings seem to be able to intuitively understand. The physics of space and weight and light and height. And all the rest of that stuff. At least that's where I'm uh, kind of going with the kind of odd physics. That's the physics.